Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K. A lot of focus on the guard matchup tonight, Greg. Both these teams rely on their backcourts to lead the way for them. And if anything, it should make for an entertaining basketball game. And it becomes a little bit of a chess match when it's a backcourt duel. Those are always fun. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. They've got Christian Wood. Harden out there with Brandon Ingram. Then there's Bull. And it's Turner in at the five, home in the paint. Hey, even by NBA standards, Jokic is a mountain of a man. 6'11", they list him at 284. That's almost a seventh of a ton, folks. The Joker can handle whatever contact he embraces. Shot clock at six. Harden the pass to Ingram. Let's it go from deep. Rebound by the Nuggets. And this is their first time matched up with Brooklyn this year. And their series last year was a bit of a comparison between the two conferences. Both were in the middle of the pack. Well, you said it. I mean, often it's the teams that are in the middle of the pack in their conference which more accurately show the conference's strength than a team at the top or the bottom. At least that's how I like to look at it. And so Harden will bring it up for Brooklyn. It's a five-point game. to Ingram. Harden against Caruso. And here's Ingram from the arc. Ingram can't get that one to fall. The Nuggets have gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. And the pass to Caruso. Back to Jokic. Pass to Caruso. Oubre inside the three-point line. Had the space there, but it's offline. Brooklyn's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And you look at the way he can get off a shot. When he gets to his spots, there's just no stopping him. Very few players can create like he can. A creator indeed. And the name you always hear, Gray, with Ingram as a comparison, Kevin Durant. Yeah, and that's about as fair a comp as you'll find. Ingram is special with how he can rise up over defenders with that shot. It makes him a lethal weapon late in the game. The first one falls. And, you know, since having his role expanded, Wood has really blossomed and grown into it. He's a very talented, dependable forward in this league. Free throws, good from Wood. I think it's pretty clear, Greg, what the goal is for this Denver organization long term. It, it's simple, Kevin. Make it to the finals. The, the Nuggets have never been there. They've been close reaching a conference finals on more than one occasion. And that one's good, Jokic. Around the hoop, Nikola is deadly. Great touch from Jokic there. Caruso against Harden. Shoots over Caruso, and he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Early on, three misses to open the game. Their offense right now still trying to find its way. Another high IQ pass by Jokic. I mean, he knows all eyes are on him, so he gives it up to a ready shooter. That's just good basketball. Now it is Harden. He's a guy that can score, no doubt, averaging over 25 points a game. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And so Siakam will bring it up for the Nuggets. They lead by four. There's the drive, and the layup's good off the glass. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Now here's Harden. What a tremendous game he played against Minnesota. And finished off by Wood. Wood flying up to slam down the alley-oop emphatically. Now, here's Caruso for three, and Bull pulls it down. On the top of the key, off the mark, his first miss of the game, one for two. To the inside, here's Jokic. Second shot opportunity, 
Payne for three. Sinks the triple. And that's a sweet dime from Jokic. He's always had good vision, and it only seems to get better every year. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Here's Harden. Dives to the hoop. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Everything working for them inside so far, guys. Tons of high-quality shots that they're knocking down inside. And one other thing they've done well today, guys, share the ball. I mean, set up teammates and just playing unselfishly. They throw good, James Harden. And, guys, James Harden continues to be one of the most dominant offensive forces. Kevin, I don't think there's any question about it. No matter what city is on the front of his jersey, as long as Harden is on the back of it, you can expect the ball to go through the twine and for him to drop dimes, too. He's clearly one of the best scorers of this generation by far. And with most of the season behind us, Clark, we've really gotten to know this rookie class well. Well, Kevin, they won't be rookies much longer. But, yeah, it's always fun to see how these guys develop and grow during the course of a season. And some of these young fellas have shown us a ton of long-term promising potential. Here's Turner after the Nuggets pick up two. Brooks with no one around. That ball is nice feed that time from Turner. Good intelligent basketball on the part of Turner there. Assists like that will make the defense think twice about how they're going to defend him. Pass to Jones. Jokic with the screen on Hart. And a wide open look for Payne. A three-pointer off the mark. Nets trail by five. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Passes to Wood. And a miss there on the triple. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now, here's Bain. They count on his contributions, currently providing 16.5 points a game. Diallo with it to the paint. Wood pass to Harden. He gets it in there. Nice physical play from Harden that time inside. Never afraid or backing away from the defense. It's Jones on the way. Knocked away. And the Nuggets pushing it up now. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. All right, a chance to check out the stats for Siakam. He's been on a remarkable tear this past month. He's right around 17 points a night, six rebounds, and five assists. And he's such a big part of what they do offensively. Yeah, he's just got that nice feel, that sixth sense, knowing where to be on the floor to help his teammates generate points. And he makes the first. Big group substitution here for Denver. Mason Plumley's checked in for Jokic. Hunter comes in for Pascal Siakam. Johnson, he's checked in for Oubre. And it's Kenrich Williams in for Bain. And so Jones nails both of them. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Diallo still looking for his first bucket in this one from deep Harden drills it from outside Harden is known for his creativity can't lose him in the screen and roll or he'll take you to school Jones kicks to Plumley. Plumley sets the pick for Hunter shooting foul as the whistle blows he'll shoot two free throws that's his first personal yeah, it's going to be on miles turn yeah way to play in attack mode and get to the line and you know the defense gets their money's worth on that foul stopping the layup and not giving up the and one take a break take a break two shots First free throw is good. 
an athletic forward with, with a versatile skill set. Hunter has also proven he can come up big in big moments. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Browns checked in for Miles Turner. Bowl comes in for Christian Wood. And it's Patrick Beverly in for James Harden. And both free throws good for Hunter. Nets trail by four. There's the pass to Bowl. Diallo against Williams. And here's Brooks from outside. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Oh, spacing the floor. Brooks is comfortable shooting it from deep. Jones, the pass to Hunter. Here's Johnson. A three ball. Good. The nice assist for Williams. And the Nuggets lead by four. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Brooks. He's got six. Plumley with the steal. Johnson, the pass to Plumley, And it's slammed in by Plumley. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Just five to shoot. Here he goes. There's Diallo. Up and in on the way. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Now, Hunter. Taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now, he averages about nine points a game. There's the three. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. Nuggets lead by four. We'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And the Nuggets, guys, what jumps out to you numbers-wise? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. Nets trail by four. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. They've got Gordon. He's out there with Hart. Hole is out there with Brown. And it's Robinson Earl in at the power forwards position. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for Denver. Hey, Clark, one stat where Jokic is consistently dominant, of course, is rebound. Well, he does everything well, but you're right. Season after season, game after game, Kevin, he is eating that glass. He stays near the top of that particular statistic. And he knows games are won and lost on the board, and he wants to be able to contribute in that way. But he is a brilliant, brilliant player, not just a rebound. And here's Gordon following the three-pointer by Siakam. Count it, and the Nugget lead has been cut down to five on the bucket from Eric Gordon. Even when Gordon is under pressure, he finds a way to score the ball. That's what he is. He is a determined and capable scorer. Now, here's Siakam. Seven points of the game, and Jokic gets it to go. It's important that you have big men who can shoot in this day and age, and this guy can really stretch the floor. Harden against Jones. Here's Robinson Earl, and he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. The Nuggets leading by eight. Jokic finds Johnson. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. And Jokic gets it to go. Jokic has got five points now in the quarter. He's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's that hot. Brown with a screen on Siakam. It's stolen by Johnson. Gordon against Bain. 
pass to Siakam. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. It's important that Siakam plays with confidence from there. I mean, when he does, the results are often like that one. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here. For the Nuggets, Kelly Oubre's checked in for Johnson. And it's Alex Caruso in for Jones. Stolen by Siakam. Bain against Gordon. Jokic sets the screen for Bain. The 10 footer. And Jokic gets it to go. The assist by Bain. Jokic has got the lead up to 14 now for the Nuggets. Harden the pass to Robinson Earl. Harden with a screen on Siakam. Buries it from three-point range. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Bain finds Jokic. Gordon against Bain. Nine feet out. He can't hit that top. The Nets go the other way with it. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. Yeah, it was all hands on deck. Helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. Absolutely, especially on the road when you need those guys off the bench to up the end. For Brooklyn, they had gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. You know, their percentages dropped off just a little bit compared to last year, guys, but it's not a huge drop-off, so no major concern. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Brown. Christian Wood comes in for Jeremiah Robinson Earl. And it's Ingram in for Bowl. When you think of half-court offenses in general, Greg, how critical is ball and player movement to a team's success? Kevin, unless you have incredible isolation scores, it's essential. And even then, keeping the defense rotating and reacting is the best way to create open looks and offensive rebound opportunities. Here's Harden following the basket by Jokic. Here's Ingram. And it's denied! Sent back by Siakam! Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. On the wing, Eric Gordon, defended by Caruso. Ingram outside. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. Ingram's got five. I think it's critical that Ingram's confidence continues to grow. I mean, and I think possessions like that will only help him moving forward. Now, here's Oubre. 14 points from him the last game against San Antonio. Makes it out to Siakam. Just five on the clock. Back to Oubre. The three-pointer no good. 
Nets trail by eight. Gordon, the pass to Harden. Jokic craps the miss. Jokic has got six rebounds here tonight. Oubre inside the three-point line. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Jokic has got three assists now in this one. And, and back in 2021, Nikola Jokic became the lowest drafted player to ever win the MVP. The 41st pick of the draft, the first second round pick to win the award. Timeout called the Nets. He's checked in for Denver. And then for Brooklyn, Brooks checked in for Gordon. And it's Patrick Beverly in for James Harden. game a win against San Antonio looking to carry that into this one you know those road games are tricky but, but they had a good strategy going in stuck to what they do best yeah you know game balls all around in that one a terrific team effort they trusted in their system and executed well to get the win time now to turn to our sideline reporter David Aldridge David thanks very much in recent years the NBA has opened several international academies Commissioner Adam Silver says huge numbers of people are playing basketball, but unless you take the best at a young age, get them facing elite competition and training under high-pressure circumstances, they won't develop into NBA-caliber players. Kevin? No opening doors, David. That's always a good thing. Expansion. Thank you. Now here's Diallo. He had 10 points in the win against Minnesota. Beverly, the pass to Wood. Six to shoot. And he gets the bucket. Wood's got six points. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Pass to Oubre. They set the pick. Inside. Here's Jokic. Right through the D for the layup. He's got 17. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Beverly feeling it out a bit. Here's Ingram. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. That's really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. The Nuggets have shot 80% from the line tonight going four or five so far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. So for the Nets, 
Browns checked in for Wood. Gordon comes in for Brandon Ingram. And it's James Harden in for Patrick Beverly. And so Caruso nails both of them. Here is Harden. He's got nine. The pass to Diallo. Harden against Caruso. Harden draws the double. Gordon for three. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Caruso. 44 seconds left to play here in the half. Pass to Jokic. And Siakam with the basket on the assist by Jokic. And that's 13 points for Siakam. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. In the corner, it's Diallo. Caruso against Harden. It's three pointers off the mark. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Here's Jokic. That one wide left. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. 33. Then a runaway. You look at Jokic in this game, he has been everywhere. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And, you know, that's not a job they ask him to do very often. But in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. Alex Caruso out there with Desmond Bain. Then it's Johnson. Then it's Pascal Siakam. And it's Jokic in at the center. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Now Caruso. After Brandon Ingram missing on that last three points. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. During Desmond Bain's first season, Greg, he shot over 43% from three-point territory. And that was top 10 all time for a rookie. And Bain's three-point numbers went up in his second season. From the start of his career, Desmond's been a premier shooter. And the first one drops. You know, what makes Jokic truly exceptional in my mind is the breadth and depth of his versatility. You know, he's a really good passer, maybe the greatest passing big guy we've seen in a long time. And that, to me, is a tremendous distinction, not to mention how he scores and does the other stuff he does out there. Now, here is Harden. Wood with the screen for Harden from deep. And he's good on the three ball. Harden's got 12 in the game. You know, everybody knows Harden is lights out from behind the arc. So if you're defending him, you've got to take that away. Bain against Ingram on the wing Johnson. Here's the three. The rebound by Brandon Ingram. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Kicks it to Harden. There's the dish to Bowl. Passes it to Wood. Six on the shot clock. And the pass to Harden. Launches a three. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got his sixth rebound on the night. Stolen by Harden. Pass to Bowl. Shoots over Caruso. Bowl getting it done. What a move that time. Boy, what a find. Harden's passing skill. Incredible. James did win an assist title, you know. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak.
Kelly Oubre has checked in for Cameron Johnson. So a moment now to see the story for James Harden. Just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Pass to Jokic. Oubre outside. Off target from three-point range. Nets trail by 13. Harden surveying the D. Passes it to Ingram. Caruso against Harden. Pocket six. To Ingram. Lots of room. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down. Try to get some easy ones. Here's Jokic. Good again. He's on tonight. Nine for 13 shooting. Yes, sir. Jokic fired up and so is his team. They love to see the big guy scoring like this. Turner against Jokic. Ingram outside. Back to Turner. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. Assisted. Outstanding decision making by Ingram there, working it to the open man. Really good possession. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Now we see more and more top prospects bypass college or even leave high school early to make six figures playing for G League Ignite. For many years, going pro at such a young age was something we only saw abroad, but that reality is now here. Kevin? I like it too, David. The landscape is shifting, and I think for the better. Thank you for the report. Now, Jokic, after the miss, three-pointer from Christian Wood. Siaka misses. Ooh, and this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. Ingram dishes to Turner. Harden outside. Knocks it loose. So it looks like the Nets will retain possession here. As we get a break in the action now, let's take a look at the East and how the teams are stacking up. You look at Brooklyn, advantage in one series. Well, I think for Brooklyn, this hasn't been the breakout season that many were predicting, but they're still very much in the hunt for a high postseason seed, and that will keep them focused here during the season's final stages. And they need to stay focused. I mean, they have to ensure they hang on to a high seed. It's imperative for them. And Steve Nash wants a timeout. Making a change here. Jones is checked in. Brooks checked in for Brooklyn. Diallo comes in for Ingram.
Harden inside the three-point line. Misses off the right eye. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That'll be his second foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Now here's Harden. 12 points for him. He kicks to Turner. For the three. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got three assists in the game. And there's no question, Miles Turner is one of the NBA's best shot blockers. Kevin, he's led the league multiple times in block shots. And if you look at his per-game averages, man, very impressive. I think he's put himself in the conversation for one of the most prolific shot blockers of all time if he can sustain it for a few more years. Here's Diallo after the made shot from Kelly Oubre. Harden kicks to Diallo. Shot clock at five. Brooklyn needs to get off a shot here. The shot by Turner, no good. And so it's Oubre with it. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. They led by as many as 18 points. Jones looking for an opening. It's Jones on the wing. Jokic with the screen on Diallo. 4-3. Oubre hits the three-point bomb. Oubre has got five points in the quarter. A legitimate sniper from distance. Love seeing Oubre Jr. shoot it with such precision. A deep three from Harden. Trying to come right back with a three of his own. It's no good. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a group. Two minutes remaining. Now the pass to Oubre. Harden against Jokic. Over Harden. And it's Jokic missing. Nets trail by 15. Harden outside. Tries from the block. And Turner the bucket on the assist from Harden. Turner's got seven. For Denver, they've gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Denver calls timeout. Substitution here for Denver. Mason Plumley's checked in for Jokic. Williams comes in for Pascal Siakam. Hunter's checked in for Kelly Oubre. And Johnson subbed in for Bain. Then for the Nets, Brown's checked in for Turner. Jeremiah Robinson Earl comes in for Bowl. And it's Patrick Beverly in for James Harden. Here's Hunter. Outside, Jones. Down low. Here's Johnson. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. 
Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. And the Nets making a change here. Gordon's checked in. We've got 118 left in the third. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Brown with a screen on Williams. Back to Beverly. Fires the three. Good on the three-point shot. Beverly's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Beverly looking to score as soon as he gets the ball now, so you can't give him any room. Denver passing it around. Johnson wide open. He fires. And the three off target. Nets trail by 13. Here's Robinson Earl. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Robinson Earl's got five. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Pass to Jones. Johnson in the corner. Hunter on the wing. Six-second difference between shot and game clock. Down to five on the shot clock. Williams for three. Brooklyn with the rebound. And so it's Denver. They lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And don't go away. We'll be right back. We have the chance now, folks. Let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court for the Nets, getting the fourth quarter going. Yes. And Ingram's out there with Brown. James. And there's Gordon. Then it's Harden. And it's Turner in at the five. First team back. Brown against Siakam. From the arc, five to shoot. That one, no good. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Here's Ingram. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. The Nuggets leading by 11. Siakam passes to Jones. Siakam against Brown. Siakam misses. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Harden against Jones. Ingram outside. Outside Brown. Chalk up two there. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. From deep Harden. He shoots again. Missile blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are three points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Nuggets. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. And also, throughout this game, they have really taken advantage of the defense. I just love the initiative they've shown attacking in the paint. 
During his childhood, Hurricane Katrina forced Kelly Oubre Jr.'s family out, and they had to move. And the Oubre family moving from New Orleans to Houston. Kelly saying he still thinks about the day his family left NOLA. Feels lucky they found a new home. Now here's Brooks following the miss by Jokic. It's tipped. Jokic with the steal. Here's Oubre. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5 for 8 clip. Nets trail by 9. Harden outside. Turner with the screen for Harden. Claps in the tray. James. He's starting to heat up from outside. That's his second this half. Denver calls timeout. That slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin will see if they can build on this lead. Thank you, David. Now, here's Caruso. Pass to Jokic. Outside, Bain. Jokic a screen. The Nuggets with another miss. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Here's Turner. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got 11 rebounds in the game. Pass to Siakam. This is to Oubre. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. Crafty at cashing in from there. Oubre Jr. enjoys working on his interior game when given the opportunity. Now, here is Harden. Brooks outside. Bain against Ingram. Five on the clock. Brooks. And it's denied. Sent back by Siakam. Here's Bain. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Nuggets, Desmond Bain. At the line for two. First one falls. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half, and that's taking care of business, fellas. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Bowl, he's checked in for Brown, and Diallo subbed in for Brooks. And he makes both free throws. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Brooklyn. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Turner with a screen on Caruso. Harden kicks to Turner. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got five assists in the game. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Now here's Caruso. Siakam has it in the corner. Cans the shot with nobody near him. And the Nuggets lead by nine. Rise and fires. This is Siakam's attitude off the catch. And with these results, you understand why. Bounce pass from Diallo. Jokic with it. Picked up by Turner. Bain against Diallo. The three... Gets it to fall. The bucket from Bain. And now it's a 12-point nugget lead. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. And the call up against Jokic. That is his first foul of the game. So for the Nets, Brown comes in for Turner. And Wood subbed in for Diallo. Christian Wood. Ingram outside. The three from Harden. A three-pointer is right on target. Harden's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for Brooklyn. 
the defense a step slow, and you can see the results. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Now, here's Jokic, and he comes up with the deuce. Jokic has got 23. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. And that one's good, Ingram. Terrific score from the mid-range. Ingram knows how to use his size and touch from there. Siakam looking around. The shot misses. Some solid defense from Brown. Nets trail by nine. And here is Ingram. But Trey. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Well, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Bain finds Jokic. Good ball boom here by the Nuggets. Just five to shoot. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. Bain, no good. Hey, you know, I like the competitive spirit, but when you look at it, I think he rushed that three a little bit because he was trying to get back at his opponent. Good a screen on Bain. Shot is good, and the Nugget lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Ingram. And you want Ingram to take over in these situations, and he does just that when his number is called. Caruso, a screen on Ingram. A fadeaway, and it's Jokic missing. Fadeaway was the right shot there because it got his attempt away from the defender, but the touch was poor. Out to Ingram from past the arc, and the Nets, another three. He's so clutch. When the pressure is at its highest, that's when he's at his very best. Harden against Corso. Wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to perfection to block shots. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. Jones checked in for Denver. Turner's checked in for Brooklyn. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're up by one. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Two seconds left to play here on the fourth. Uh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Timeout called the Nets. Ingram. 
Ingram against Bain. Shoots from 12. Well, it's Ingram missing. And so it's Bain who brings up the ball for Denver. Jones with it. Now guarded by Ingram. Outside, Bain. The pass to Siakam. Takes a three. He's off on that one. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And here are the Nets. They're on a 13-4 run right now. And you know what? Ingram is always ready to score in the clutch, guys. He's a guy you can depend on to give you his best when his best is needed. Denver calls timeout. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game out. Exactly. I mean, you got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligator arm a few of those free throws. the first one and that will put them up by two and so both free throws are good and it's a three point game yeah, those free throws make things a little more simpler right now they just have to guard against the three point and a deep three from Harden off target from downtown and they need to stop the clock so there's a foul you have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. They didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who would go to the line. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So it gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Good composure from the line there. Those shots sealed. So the Nuggets win it. 